So I wasn't going to go into this drama, but frankly, I got a bit annoyed at how people just can't seem to think reasonably and deeply about things and just flat out assert things with no explanation whatsoever, assuming that people would just nod their heads. So this entire drama surrounding V stream with a bunch of other people, including Sargon Akkad and their nemesis Thunderfoot, has been blown out of proportion really because something tragic happened and it hit a bit too close to home, you know. We joke about really terrible things like the Holocaust and, you know, for example, South Park constantly joke and make light about really serious things. For example... So, not only do they joke about, you know, so many people who died from the atom bomb, uh, during World War II, but also the situation regarding whaling in Japan. Both are extremely horrible things, but they joke about it. Uh, does anybody here think that, therefore, the maker of South Park are really horrible people? No. We call the people who get offended at South Park to be stuck-ups. Because South Park is fucking funny. On the other hand, Russian Deadpool and his girlfriend Ivy are people many people on YouTube know personally and have interacted with him. Some like him, other people didn't like him, but now he's in jail for murder, no less, and she's dead. So you can hear a bit of implicit silence that people look at each other and go, um, what the fuck just happened? But if this was just something that we read in the newspaper, if none of us know about these people, will there still be this much drama? I sincerely doubt it. The thing that I'm going to address is this tiresome back and forth about the jokes uh, that people on Vstream made are in poor taste. Most recently, Noel Plum also made this point. The criticisms that I had of the Hangout, because like I say, I watched the Hangout, there's some criticisms that I had where I thought that Thunderfoot actually it wasn't that far off, to be honest, where I watched it and I thought, yeah, he might not have, he might have over-egged this a bit, but there's something in what he had to say. The first is the claim that the, the Hangout was in bad taste. I watched the Hangout, I thought the Hangout was in bad taste. The jokes were in bad taste. Notice here, like other people who make this claim, he just says the jokes are in poor taste as an assertion. Why is it in poor taste? Well, no explanation there. This coming from a guy who says that he can't sit through a two hour long stream with only 20 minutes information and he made a 40-something minute video with 20 minutes of information. You know, constantly repeating himself and giving no real new information that people who have been keeping up with this drama didn't already know. The joke in question made by this guy here who said... Uh, well, the feminist got triggered. Yeah. For the <laughs> final time. For the it's last... Too soon, crowd. <laughs> As I said before, like, too soon is literally five seconds before it happens. That's when it's too yeah. soon. No, no. This is a good joke. Quite a brilliant joke, in fact. Not something that I can easily come up with. I personally wouldn't have had a stream to joke about the situation, but that's because I can't come up with jokes like this. And supposedly Russian Deadpool may be one of the better feminists who didn't deserve being made fun at. But I wouldn't go whack my finger at other people who are making it. Why is this a good joke? Because a good joke dwells on some truthful things or event that is ironic or absurd. Many times that that thing or that event is something uncomfortable. In this particular joke, there are many levels that qualify uh, for this crit criterion. The first level, uh, many of you already know, which is that feminists, especially male feminists, like to white knight women and accuse men of not treating women good enough. And the person who says these things killed a woman who is close to him. So you have this first level. And then you have the second level, which is that feminists like to be quote-unquote triggered by things that quote-unquote offend them. Uh, like many words they use that are so exaggerated to be uh, not true. You know, the most famous being how a guy is raping a woman just by cat whistling at her. But in this particular incident, a feminist 
was literally triggered by something that killed her. So this is the second level. The third level of this joke is that she was triggered one last time, which is reflective of how feminists like to tell people to stop triggering them, and a feminist was literally just triggered one last time, right? So this is a fucking brilliant joke. That's why it's so funny. Now, let's look at the comparisons that people make uh, with this joke. Preaching about higher ethical moral standards while callously using a tragic shooting to push an agenda before the body was even cold. The response to this, even by Sargon, is, oh my god, I can't believe you're comparing us to the Westeros Baptist Church. Dude, the question should be, okay, the Westeros Baptist Church says, God hey facts, what's funny about it? Because, you know, if the gays are known to tell straight people to go to hell, or go to the literal hell, and you find a Bible passage that says that uh, actually God will send the gays to hell instead, that would be kind of funny because it's ironic. I talked to a friend on Skype and not a feminist to ease your mind. And he reminded me how people lost their shit when Laughing Witch and Jenny McDermott made fun of Thunderfoot's dad after he died from cancer. Again, what's funny about it? If Thunderfoot or his father laughs at people uh, who have cancer and seriously say how the people who get cancer uh, get, get cancer because it's their own fault, like how some religious fundamentalist nutcase might say, and he got cancer. Yes, that would be rather funny because it is ironic. Gee, but I just can't understand why people can't wrap their heads around this. To me, there is really no such thing as a joke in poor taste in, in terms of how it will hurt feelings or how it will hurt someone or something or make someone or something look bad. There is only jokes in poor taste as in it's just not funny because it doesn't have any of the criteria that I listed. It's neither ironic in any way or reflective of the absurdity of reality in any way. When PewDiePie made the video about uh, death to the Jews, it's funny because it's reflective of the Holocaust and the whole thing with anti-Semitism on multiple levels. The fact that everybody gets what he's saying and the absurd randomness of it all is kind of like this joke. Throw the Jew down the well So my country can be free You must grab him by his horns Then we have a big party this is funny and good comedy. Nobody set some stupid rule about how you need to act a certain way on YouTube. That's why we have diversity that not only includes a diversity of opinions, but how one should express those opinions. The most moral high ground you can gain is preventing yourself from hypocrisy and double standard as much as possible. If you do something, you know, if you say something, don't whine if other people do it too. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the golden rule. V is full of shit plenty of times, but he is consistent from this perspective. And yes, he also makes good jokes here and there. My recommendation is really think more deeply about things and question everything. When you don't do that, you head into such a clusterfuck about debating taste. You know, people should really be much better thinker than this.